we pick up the action in the home game against West Bromwich Albion, where two of the season stars, Tony Cotty and Frank McAvenny, feature prominently. Cotty's ability to make something out of nothing is illustrated to the full here. See how he reacts when George Paris's shot is miscued in his direction. The Albion defenders are flat-footed as Tony drills home his 12th goal of the season. Paris himself is on the brink of stardom, the crowd loving his competitive edge. In the 31st minute, George picks up a loose clearance and volleys in number two, courtesy of a wicked deflection. are now in majestic form, mesmerising the Midlanders with their slick and accurate passing moves. close with this effort. Devonshire's surging runs from deep positions are a feature of the season. The second half is barely two minutes old when Dev, making his 290th league appearance, exploits the space Albion's retreating defence allow him. And goalkeeper Bradshaw is beaten by a low left foot shot. Devonshire corner from the left. Tony Gale gets his head to it and Bradshaw makes a splendid save. Neil Orr, having one of his best games in a hammer shirt, forces Bradshaw to show his agility again. It's Cotty's turning provider with a marvellous display of skill. Neil Orr, the scorer, his first goal of the season. West Brom too have their moments. And it's Phil Parks who makes a great save with his feet from Ali Robertson. But the Hammers are soon back in the driving seat and this 4-0 victory lifts them into third place in the first division table behind Manchester United and Liverpool. West Ham United 4 West Bromwich Albion, nil. Frank McAvenny stepped off a plane from Australia where he had been on World Cup duty with Scotland to score the winner at QPR and maintain the Hammers' lofty position. Now they face Birmingham City, 1-0 winners in the opening game of the season at St Andrews. As expected, the Hammers made the running. Alan Dickens' perseverance here nearly pays off. Tony Cotty goes close with another effort.
Ray Stewart with the free kick. Alvin Martin lends his weight to the attack. It was this fine cross-field ball from Steve Walford which opened up the Blues' defence. Ward's vision, Cotty's persistence, and McAvenny's precision are well rewarded. The league's top marksman scooping in his 19th goal of the season. Birmingham fight back, and it is Phil Parks who proves his worth with a fine save. From his clearance, Martin, Ward, Dickens, making his 70th league appearance, Cotty and Dev leave Birmingham in a spin. And when Hagen drags down Dicko in the box, their cause is lost. Fullback Ray Stewart steps up to take the penalty. And makes no mistake to give the Hammers a 2-0 lead in the 39th minute. In the second half, West Ham continued to pose the questions and were so close to adding further to their score. McAvenny driving this shot just wide of the far post. Skipper Alvin Martin threads the ball through to McAvenny. Little Cotty threads onto it and another great save from the Birmingham City keeper. Final score, West Ham United 2, Birmingham City 0. The league programme was decimated by the Arctic freeze, but the FA Cup competition managed to survive. The Hammers entertained Ipswich Town, the Suffolk Club, making a record 16th consecutive appearance in the fourth round of the competition. There were plenty of thrills for the fans to feast upon. Alan Dickens hooks a shot just wide. From Ward's corner, Steve McCall makes a timely interception to block Gale's fine header. A Steve Walford free kick now. And this is wrapped against the Ipswich bar by Tony Gale. At this stage of the game, Alan Dickens and Alan Devonshire were orchestrating the Hammers attacking rhythm. Paul Cooper is kept very busy. Alvin Martin has his shot blocked. In the second half, Cotty, who scored the third round winner at Charlton, is inches away. And at the other end, 
Wilson forces Parks to make a good save. The play fluctuates from end to end, but as time ebbs away, the defences stay lucky. Devonshire. Alvin Martin out toward. Macaveni's beaten in the air. Ward again. Macaveni. Dev. And a near miss from Tony Cotty.